Good morning, everybody. There's about 10 minutes left to the morning, so I can still say that, but welcome back to the vlog. Today it's Thursday and it is day 23 of Ramadan, I believe. <laughs> Not you trying to make your way in the vlog, but it is the day before we go to Toronto. So we're going to Toronto tomorrow and we're actually about to head to our workout, which is why I'm actually filming on my husband's phone right now. Which is why he's like watching me. <laughs> but um, so we're going to Toronto tomorrow. Very, very excited. We're going at night. So we still kind of have like two full days left in LA, but I wasn't actually going to work out today, but this guy is forcing me to which is very different because usually i'm the one around here forcing us to work out so, <laughs> so we're gonna go and do <laughs> why are you doing that oh you're driving today <laughs> um but yes yeah, so we're going to our workout and uh we'll film some of it for you guys we're late too <laughs> we're late meet killer that felt really good though like I felt like I actually felt like stronger than before which is really nice um, the camera cut off towards the end but they always make us do like an ab finisher which sucked <laughs> but we got it done Alhamdulillah. thank you for making me work out today babe appreciate it um, but we are headed back home now I have to shower get ready real quick and I actually have to film something um, at Costco which is super random but I'm doing like a paid partnership with Poppy and their drinks like they have like a variety pack in Costco now so I'm gonna go head over there with Risky she's at home right now or at my place right now just like working on some things so I'm gonna give myself an hour to do everything and then we have to get out because we're actually going up to Anaheim this um evening I don't know I forgot that word I'm going up to Anaheim because someone invited us for iftar so we kind of have to leave a little bit early so I'm trying to chop chop and then the just came in. Oh, okay, I'll catch y'all later. Bye! It's the day that we are leaving to Toronto. I forgot my vlog camera in the car, so I'm just vlogging on my phone right now. But since we're leaving, I figured I might as well just like start putting some stuff away in storage, like some of the Ramadan decorations and whatnot. So we are taking away the Ramadan sign. Although I kind of want to keep it up there. It's so cute. I feel like... So Fatuma's going to be staying here while we're gone. My friend Fatuma. Um, I feel like that would be really cute to have there. But there's only like five days left, so maybe it's not worth it. Eh, we'll just put it away. I'm putting away all the other decorations anyways, but goodbye to the Ramadan calendar. Until next year. It's day 24. <laughs> I didn't even know it was day 24. I was stuck on 21 <laughs> for like three days. <laughs> but let me show you guys what we're doing. So these bins are from Target and these are like random things um, like fall decor and some extra like hosting stuff. And then these are all Ramadan stuff. Um, so basically we have a storage unit now since this apartment has like basically no storage. So I just put like all of the Ramadan stuff in here. Well, everything that would fit. I think there's still a few things that probably won't fit in here, but I'll just carry them out into that one. And then we're gonna take them off, or take them out, as, as well as um, these like heating pans and stuff. We're gonna take that to storage as well, just so it's like out of the way. But 
goodbye. I'm so sad. All of the lanterns are gone, everything. I'm gonna be taking down, unfortunately, all the beautiful lights. So cloudy. I know. I was hoping that the weather would be a little bit better today because I want to take my Eid photos. But maybe by the evening, like the sun might peek out. I see like a patch of blue over there. So maybe by the time. Ugh, it's like around 5 p.m. it'll be sunny. We'll see. Um. tell y'all last night was a mad dash to get to the airport <laughs> we made it with like five minutes to spare um not for the flight but like to put our bags in we have a lot of bags obviously and you have to get it in like an hour before we got there like i literally there was maybe like 20 minutes left and i told the uber driver i was like please drive as fast as you can <laughs> we need to get there like asap and alhamdulillah we made it i was making hella dua Honestly, I think that was it. That was it. My duet was answered. But my brother is about to pick us up. Are you really having chocolate right now? <laughs> my brother's about to pick us up. And yeah, then we'll probably just knock out the rest of the day. <laughs> we're both very tired, but we're in Toronto. And the weather is beautiful. Alhamdulillah. looking rough but the weather the weather in Toronto right now it's giving it's giving LA even though LA is horrible weather right now so I'm very happy about this this view is it bringing back memories <laughs> what do you think of the house it's cute yeah he's taking his first tour home oh i miss this place probably gonna take a nap well actually just sleep in general i don't really get much sleep on the plane and then later on we're going to the community if it's our event well, not event, just like community if it's our. We're gonna go to the center, Islamic center. And I'm gonna see all my friends and everything. It's gonna be really nice. But until then, hopefully I look a little bit more fresh by the time I come back to this camera. But you happy to be in Toronto? Mm -hmm. <laughs> This a nostalgic view. Oh my god. 
welcome back y'all well i mean i guess you never really went anywhere this is a continuation of the vlog but uh today it's sunday and i'm actually going to a i'm going to my cousin imam's house for store tonight and i wanted to make banana pudding because Honestly, it was so good when I made it for the Afzar last week. Was it last week or the week before? Whatever week that was, it was delicious. So I kind of want to make it again. Um, so I sent my brother to get a few things. Oddly enough, Canada does not have like vanilla wafers, like the little Nila wafers that you use. Um, I feel like, yeah, like I couldn't find them anywhere. I sent my brother to Walmart, he couldn't find them. So I'm just gonna make a Biscoff version, like a cookie butter banana pudding recipe. And hopefully it still tastes good because that's all I'm working with right now. But I need to look for a cutting board because I'm just going to chop up. I'm still waiting on a few of the... Ooh, okay, this lemon is horrible. I'm still waiting on a few ingredients. So I'm just going to have to wait basically. And I'm just going to cut up the banana in the meantime. And you guys actually asked for the recipe. So I thought that I would just like include that in today's vlog anyways. And you can get the recipe for the banana pudding in case you want to make this for like Eid or the last day of Ramadan or something. So I'm going to use like three bananas this time. And it's so crazy guys. I used to film like cooking videos all up in this place. It's so crazy. I also want to try and film it in case I use it for some sort of content. This uh, tripod I actually got from... Amazon and it's really good. It's very like High quality, which I like I had a very similar one like the white one that a lot of people use and I still use those but this one I can actually like move and I don't know. It's just like a lot more stable than the other one So I really like it. I'll try linking it below if I remember But if I forget and you guys are looking for the link then just remind me <laughs> Like just slicing up my bananas. I'm gonna use three and then I also have some sweetened condensed milk and some evaporated milk, which I'll show you guys how I put it all together. It doesn't really matter how thick or thin you want them, but you don't want them too thin. You want a little bit of some bite in there. I've got the Biscoff cookies. I've never made it with Biscoff, so hopefully it turns out good, but you're not going to like it. <laughs> Banana pudding. Yeah. <laughs> you got to promise to at least try it. Is it going to be smooth? Yeah. Like super smooth? Yeah. Like no chunks? I mean, there's gonna be bananas, but you like bananas. Like chunks of banana? Like, like this. The textures. Just taste <laughs> it. <laughs> it's the textures. I don't Come know. say hi to the vlog. What vlog? Oh, are you filming? I'm vlogging and I'm potentially streaming? filming. I'm not streaming. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hmm. Say hi to Amir. It's been a while since he's been in the vlog. Oh, you're getting kind of so low. <laughs> I know. Actually, I don't know why the angle is like that. There, now we're in there. There we go. But I think I think it'll turn out good. I feel like cookie butter banana pudding might taste good. I've got the bananas. I'm just gonna set them aside for a second. And then the other ingredients are you need some cold milk, sweetened condensed milk, and then also some evaporated milk. And this is kind of a recipe that my sister-in-law shared with me because I went over to their house over um, like the Thanksgiving break and she made this delicious banana pudding. It was so yummy. So I asked her for the recipe, but let's move on to the actual mixture. I don't remember where anything is in this house. This right here is a 33 year old hand mixer. 33 years, my mom got this as a wedding gift. That is crazy and it still works. So I have two packs of this Jello, and it's the vanilla one. So you can use one or two. This one's a little bit smaller than the one in the US. So I'm just gonna use two. And I'm kind of eyeballing this recipe. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully it turns out good. You need two cups of cold milk per jello container. So I'm gonna do two, and I'm gonna do like three cups. And then we'll see where we're at. My sweet and condensed milk. That 
was evaporated milk. I don't have vanilla extract here, but we do have this like vanilla powder. So I'm going to add a good amount of that to make it nice and extra vanilla-y. And a little bit of cinnamon. And I'm going to give that... Kind of a little too thin right now, so I'm gonna just hand wix it first, and then once it starts getting thicker, then I'll use the hand mixer. I'm just gonna go ahead and add that last cup of milk. So as the mixture starts to set, you can see it starts getting a little bit thicker, and oh. Focus, there we go. So it's not gonna splash as much, which is nice. But you're basically gonna wanna keep going until it's like stiff piece. Or not stiff, more like soft piece. Mm. Oh, it smells so good! The jello is jelloing now. It's definitely the texture that I need it to be. So now I'm actually gonna fold in this cool whip. I'm gonna start with half. Just kidding, I'm just gonna put all of it. I'll leave a little bit for the topping. Making it work? Yeah, I'm gonna have to use Biscoff. It'll be good though. <laughs> we have more people. Oh, that, this one or this Both. one? <laughs> oh, you smell so good. Thank you. I'm, I'm trying to make oh it work. God. Why does Canada does not have vanilla wafers? Yeah. Like I literally couldn't find it anywhere, so I'm just making Biscoff version. <gasps> Which I think oh will be God, good anyways. It's literally so good. <laughs> We're doing our last episode of the Ramadan series. Nice. So it's probably gonna be like an Eid Milad, I think. Oh, okay. You should join. Yeah. Do you want to join? I like cook. You should be their guest on the side, side yeah, lights. Really? <laughs> I can come. Are you guys about to film now? You can just watch them. Um, <laughs> yeah. you, know. you can like be on it. Yeah. Like. The texture is perfection. So this is what the mixture looks like right now. Basically it looks like melted vanilla ice cream, mm -hmm. which is exactly what you want it to look like. It looks delicious. And I think I'm going to be using this for our ifs are and then whatever's left over i'm going to make some for my mom as well because i know she's going to want some okay this bowl is too small so i'm going to pour this all in here and do all the mixing in here instead i'm going to put all of the biscoff cookies in this ziploc These are like what the cookies look like. They're not too crushed, but they still have some good texture to them. See, See if I can attempt to make this pretty by just like layering the lotus crackers on top of each other and then pouring the mixture on top. Mm. I feel like that's not very necessary. Yeah, I'll start with that. Finishing touches. And we are all finished. It looks so pretty. Let me show you. Banana lotus or Biscoff cookie or banana pudding. Banana banana cookie butter pudding. <laughs> Whatever. Banana lotus cookie butter pudding pudding. I what the heck? I cannot speak. 
banana, pudding. banana pudding made with lotus biscoff cookies <laughs> is complete. Canada doesn't have. <laughs> I will definitely have to show you guys everyone's reactions to eating this because hopefully it is good. But like I said, everything I touch turns to gold, so I'm sure it is. It smells delicious, I would say that. So we are en route to Iman's house right now. And it's like 7.30, so we have about 30 minutes to lift our. And um, yeah, that's kind of the only update I have for you guys. And here's our chauffeur, as always. And he's sleeping in the back. <laughs> I'm very curious to see how my banana pudding turned out though because I was like watching a bunch of videos after and I feel like I put way too much cookies in it. So I will have to report scorpion. Oh. I'll have to report back to you guys and let you know how it tastes. It looks like it'll taste good but I just feel like maybe I put too many cookies in it. But shall looks. It's fine. house and she decorated her place so beautifully it's so cute her parents aren't here unfortunately but I feel like her dad might be watching this so if you are Zayra <laughs> hi I miss you <laughs> we have my favorite food literally ever ever bamiyan and I'm so excited and then we also have a bunch of desserts <gasps> oh yes Krispy Kreme that's what I want <laughs> And then, I've never seen this before, lemon bites. They're so good. So good. Got my banana cream pie, some chips. So cute. Eat. Everyone's enjoying the food. Bamiyan. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. This guy is coming for the food exclusively. Listen, if there's anything you guys need to know about me, it's the fact that I'm obsessed with Bamiyan. Anytime I come to Toronto, it's a must. Absolute must. Oh, I didn't take cutlery. <laughs> What is this called? Baklawa cheesecake. That looks so good. No, go ahead. <laughs> Take this guy. That crunch. Because I'm, I'm sure I got to the bottom. <laughs> Mm, oh my god, there's so many sweets. We're gonna roll out of here today. <laughs> I didn't even know Krispy Kreme oh, made filled donuts were... anymore. Do they fill oh, these yeah. brown buns? Mm. The ones with the ice Shout out to the host, Wait, Imu. Oh, hello, Thank you for hosting guys. us. Oh, no problem. <laughs> All the guys are watching some some Asian kickboxing. Uh, kickboxing. I don't know, what is this? Physical 100. Okay, okay physical 100. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> is it like oh okay that's so cool is it inside it at the bottom at the base wow that's so cool
today we are headed to my aunt's house. It's actually my aunt, Aini, who passed away back in September. This is my first time going to her home since her passing, so it's gonna be a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but my mom made like a big tub of harim batmarah. <sighs> So very excited yeah. to eat that and just enjoy time with the family. <laughs> and thank you. Yeah, I'm like extremely starving today. Yeah. Mama, pull your seat up a little. Um, yeah, yeah. You excited for oxtail? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got all the goods. Cute. Oh, Habibi. Watch your head. He's so cute. Mm -hmm. Aww. <laughs> Come. He thought these were orange chicken, so I'm gonna give him the reaction before I tell him what it is. But it's my favorite. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, yes. no. oh. You like it? It's called Do Swat Look. Do Swat Look. Right? Yeah. It's, it's like a donut. Another name also, the Benap Sheik. Huh? You know what Dabanab Sheikh means? No, I've never heard that. You don't that. know? Mm-mm. -mm. Sheikh is when you, when you um, take a bite, uh -huh. your beard gets wet. Gets wet. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? Dus wa tuluk. Dus means like honey or sugar. Or dus. Yeah. And tuluk means to dip. Dipped in sugar. Dus is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pay for everything? Uh-huh. Room and board. And yeah, even the some shorba. Amir's talking about his hate for textured things. Okay. Everybody has a weird thing. <laughs> this is my textured stuff. Mama was throwing it down. What do you eat? 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 What do eat? it. you already knew? He knew, yeah. Oh, oh, your fingertips, everything. Yeah. Oh my god, especially. I was mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 gonna take a picture of that. <laughs> Thank you.